مرکز المعارف علم و فن کی وہ کتاب ہے کہ جس میں عہد نو کے ہر سوال کا جواب ہے یہ مرکز المعارف علم و فن کی وہ کتاب ہے کہ جس میں السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ And a very good afternoon to all of you. Hamidahu wa musalliyahu wa musalliman amma ba'd. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Iqraq bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Khalaq al-insana min alaq. Sadaq Allahum alikul azim. Honorable President of today's program. Distinguished judges. Respected teachers. And they all. First and foremost, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to MMERC for providing me with a wonderful platform to develop my personality and public speaking skills. Today, I am going to deliver a speech on the topic that Islam brought about the educational revolution in the world. The audience, nowadays, education is considered to be a gift of this modern age, but in fact, it is only Islam which laid down the foundation of education and took it to unprecedented heights. It is an established truth that Islam has not only laid much emphasis on education, rather it is the messenger of knowledge and leader of an educational revolution. Other civilizations put education in the category of necessities of life, but Islam regarded it the utmost necessity of each human being. The audience, unlike other religions and civilizations, Islam termed education as basic right of every individual in the society. The Greece and China made extraordinary progress in the field of education and art, but they also did not favor the education for all. Plato has also dreamed of democracy and equality for all, but he also did not favor the education for all. In India, which was the center of education and art, a lower caste person was not even allowed to hear the Vedic scriptures. None can deny the glory of Nalanda and Taxila universities. But after all, the fact is that the common people are always deprived of education in Hindu periods. Education was only the monopoly of higher classes of the society. The audience, when the son of Islam was enlightening the world, Europe was passing through dark ages of history. The scientists, artists, and men of learning were tortured, and sometimes even they were tortured to death. Similarly, ignorance was prevailing all over Arabia. There was neither a school nor a college or library. Quraysh, the head of all tribes in Arabia, had only 17 persons who knew writing. In 570 era, when the son of Islam rose from the origin of Arabian Peninsula in its fullest place, the entire world was shrouded by darkness and is steep in ignorance and long slumber. The first slogan that Islam chanted in this horrible atmosphere was about education. The earliest verses of the Quran invited people to education. <laughs> اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم chapter number 96 verse number from 1 to 5 read with the name of your Lord who created everything he created man from a coat of blood read and your Lord is the most gracious who imparted knowledge by means of the pain he taught men what he did not know dear brothers these verses of the Quran are considered to be the fountain head of education in post-Islamic history, they created a remarkable eagerness towards education. The Quran filled the followers of Islam with a tremendous spirit. Yeah. Hadith also encouraged this spirit and gave it a good push by repeated mentioning of education's virtues, virtues and greatness. Dear brothers and sisters, the Quran said, Minhum yatlu alayhim ayati 
آیاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ظَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ Chapter number 96, verse number 2. He is the one who raised and is the unlettered people, a messenger from among themselves, who recites to them his verses and purifies them and teaches them the book and the wisdom while they were earlier in open error. This is the reason that the Prophet Muhammad himself said, Inna I was sent down as a teacher. Once upon a time, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, saw some of his companions sitting in two circles. One circle was busy chanting the glory of Allah and the other circle was busy learning and teaching. So the Prophet Muhammad said, I was sent down as a teacher and sat among them. Dear brothers, the Sahaba imbibed the teachings of Islam in their lives and whenever they went, they engaged themselves in learning and teaching. The audience, in short, Islam is the pioneer of educational revolution. It led the humanity from stark darkness to bright daylight. Here I conclude my talk, praying Allah to grant us the right knowledge that enlightens our hearts and brights our souls. Thank you so much for listening to me carefully and have a fantastic day. Assalamu alaikum.